Hey, what's up, YouTube? Ian here, and you're watching Atkins Nature Aquariums. Alright, so today we got a little bit of a different video. Haven't really done anything like this, but I'm gonna do a product review on the F Zone CO2 generator uh, that I use for my planted aquarium. Now, I've been using this system for the past, I'd say, 10 months, and I would have to say I really like it. That's it. That's the end of the video. You can click off, subscribe, comment, click that like button, and we're out. Do I do that too much? No. Okay. So, this system is not your traditional CO2 system. It is pretty much a do-it-yourself um, baking soda and uh, citric acid and water mix in a steel canister. So that pretty much means that you do everything in your own home. You fill it up in your kitchen, wherever you got a sink, some water, you know, all you need is a scale and a funnel. You're pretty much set. And if you get the kit that I uh, put in the description, not an affiliated link, but uh, it's what I use, and I paid full price for it. And so far, I've bought uh, one bag each of the baking soda and citric acid, five pounds, and I only use 200 grams of each baking soda and citric acid. So if you do the math here, we'll, uh, well, let me see, if you, if you carry the one, I think I'll just do the math on a calculator later and we'll put it up on screen of how many uses you get out of five pounds. So let's talk about how often I've been using or having to change it. Um, I recently put this on my... 20 gallon high aquarium and changed it to a medium high tech. I don't know if you consider this high tech, medium tech. It's got internal filtration and CO2 and a budget china light. So we'll consider it medium tech. Now before this I had this on a 7.5 gallon rimless aquarium and I didn't have to change that thing for two to three months at a time um, and I was running it at like a bubble every two seconds it really wasn't that much CO2 and um, it really lasted a long time I love it because it does have a dual gauge regulator with a needle valve and bubble counter with a check valve built into it and it's just really simple to use when I go to take it apart I don't have to fiddle with the needle valve at all because it's it's set and it's a pretty strong you really have to move it and it's real sensitive you don't have to move it very much and I quite like that about it let's see what else do I like about it um I really had no issue growing any plants. I'll overlay some old footage of the Rimless Aquarium back in its prime, and I mean, it was just a lush forest of color and texture, and I really liked how it was going. 
Uh, but things changed. I like to change things often, so, uh, you know, we don't have things nice for very long around here. <laughs> but I'm always experimenting and trying new things and trying to learn constantly. So, yeah. Now, the last time I did a video about installing this CO2 kit, it did very well for me. It, uh, it's got a lot of views. It's probably my best video right now. And uh, I've got a lot of positive feedback in the comments of tricks and tips. Tips and tricks? Jesus. Um, and one of them was about using taking the 300 milliliters of the water that you would, instead of just pouring it into the canister, you'd pour that 300 milliliters into those thin water bottle ice trays. And then you pour that in and you freeze it. And then when it's all frozen, you go add that after um, you put all your dry ingredients in. And then you seal it up and then it just slowly melts the ice at room temperature and you don't have any loss of co2 now i am a little bit lazy <laughs> and i have not tried this yet but it's uh it seems very promising and smart to do um there was another one about putting the canister with the water first and putting it in the freezer that didn't really make sense to me, so I obviously didn't do that. I ain't putting this canister in the freezer, risking damaging this kit. It's not a very uh, cheap kit, but it's not super expensive. Uh, I'd say it's middle of the road if you wanted to dip your toes into CO2, and uh, you didn't want to hassle with exchanging CO2 canisters. Um, then I'd say this is the kit. For you the biggest tank I'd say I'd put this on is maybe a 40 gallon breeder with some good circulation and uh, maybe at two bubbles per second you might be changing it once every two to three weeks um, but on this 20 gallon here I'm running it at one bubble per second and I easily get um, four weeks out of it if not more uh, I run CO2 pretty lean. I, I don't want to start gassing out fish because I have had problems where I put way too much in and I almost killed everything in the tank. So you do have to be careful with that. Um, I'd say if you don't know anything about CO2, don't just rely on my information. You know, go on forums, go on other people's channels, just research everything about CO2, the negatives, the positives. Um, I've noticed with this tank with the CO2, I'm trimming it a lot often, and I work a lot, so maybe sometimes I don't want to trim it and it gets out of hand. Recently I trimmed this, and there's a little bit of green dust algae going on, but it, it'll die down once the plants start growing back. But... I think it's a really cool... And neat system for someone that kind of wants to do it themselves they don't want to spend the extra money for a big canister a nice regulator um, you know co2 proof tubing and um, diffuser this kit that I bought comes with everything and if you click the links that I put down in the description I will not make anything from them because I'm not affiliated and I don't know how to do any of that but, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That is my opinion and review on the F-Zone CO2 generator. And if you have any opinions on it, put them down in the comments below. And uh, we'll talk about it. Alright guys, peace out.